treat. Time for a test, not for you, but for your dog. How smart is your canine companion? He's smarter than I am. <laughs> is he smarter than <laughs> Dogs are truly remarkable. Could your pet be a genius? And it turns out that some schools are now studying dog intelligence. From Yale to Duke, scientists want to know more about how dogs think. And there's an easy way to see how your dog stacks up. David Highfield joins us now with how to get involved. David. Hey, Susan. Yes, yeah, some dog owners really care about this. They want to be able to say their dog is smart. But what does smart really mean when it comes to a dog? Well, we're about to show you a way to learn a lot more about how your dog thinks. And there may be more going on in their heads than you realize. Bring it here. Bring it here. Good job, Molly. We love them, and it feels like their love is unconditional. But what are they really thinking? How smart can a dog be? Sometimes I think they may be a little bit smarter than we think because I think that they game us to get treats. Emily and Theo Andrianis of Region Square have two German short-haired pointers. Meet Cooper and Boone. But which one is smarter? We have an idea who we think is smarter. <laughs> Without embarrassing anyone, she discreetly points. To their older dog, Cooper. So let's see if they're right. We're measuring how their dogs think in a series of online tests called Dognition. Videos guide you through. Call your dog's name. Riggs. And show that you treats. And then you register how your dog does. Cooper, treat? In this test, Cooper watches Theo put a treat under a cup. Bobby, Bobby. But then Emily distracts Cooper while Theo makes a switch. When released, will he use his memory or keen sense of smell to find the treat? Free. Turns out Cooper relies on memory and goes to the cup that's now empty. I felt bad that we tripped him. <laughs> Next, a test to see if your dog feels what you're feeling. Ooh. The thinking is if you yawn, your dog might too. Go. Ooh. Cooper settles down and looks bored, but no yawn. Now it's Boone's turn with another test. How long will he keep eye contact with Emily? Good boy. He watches patiently a couple times, but then just jumps for the treat. Oh, God. We'll get back to Boone, Cooper, and some surprising results. But first, okay, Dexter. the brains behind Dognition, Dr. Brian Hare, director of Duke University's Canine Cognition Center. He says more than a decade ago, science sort of woke up to the idea that, that dogs are truly remarkable. He believes dogs can do something other animals can't, interpret human gestures and visual cues. It's an ability dogs are really born with. They're predisposed to understand and people in this really remarkable way. So I want the dog to smell the treats. They Jeff know Woods knows all about that. He's the founder and canine behavior consultant at Misty Pines Dog Park in Franklin Park. Do you even necessarily need a smart dog? Not necessarily, because some dogs are so smart that they will manipulate their owners. Really? He says they'll actually play you. Our dog will take a ball in her mouth and come over to the owner and go, throw it for me now, please. When we're talking about dog smarts, he says we often mean problem-solving skills. As soon as I put this over his head, just start timing them. For instance, how long will it take a dog to get a towel off its head? Ajax shakes it off in four seconds flat. Good boy, all right. A different technique for Lambert as it slides off, also in four seconds. But Cochise... Holy man. ...whips it off in just a second. Yeah, there you go. Now back to Cooper, Boone, and the results. Remember how their owners felt like Cooper was smarter? Well, listen to the results for Boone. The last line in Boone's results, this is a sign of true genius. <laughs> so this, this was really funny to us. Turns out Cooper does well on practically everything, but Boone does outstanding on Treatsy? Emily shows she has a treat, but hides where she's putting it. Can the dog figure out the paper that's angled up has the treat underneath? Boone gets it right every time, but Cooper <laughs> can't seem to figure it out. Right here. It's right here. Dognition assigns a profile to your dog based on results. So Cooper was the renaissance dog, which basically is the jack of all trades. 
Um, very well-rounded. Boone was a maverick. He can tackle problems on his own. Both Theo and Emily say the test is fascinating and now see Boone in a new light. I think that was definitely the, the big surprise. The shocker. Um, so Boone will go to college. <laughs> Yeah, Boone might be headed to college now. Now, the initial test costs $19 per dog. We have a link to Dognition at our website, kdka.com. And unless you want a working or show dog, affection is probably more important to most of us mm -hmm. than actual dog smarts. You want a dog that likes you. Yeah, of course. And you yeah. have all these little things over here. What do you yeah. got? All right, well, this is a toy to kind of keep your dog's brain active. So you put treats in, in behind here, and then they have to figure out how to open this up. So this is a drawer. I mean, that really oh. is, it's problem solving. And I will admit, this one, I still, I have not figured out how to open this. But if you go to a pet store nowadays, they have more and more of these types of toys that really stimulate your dog's brain. Fascinating stuff. I love it. It was very cool. All right, David, thanks so much. Sure.